Okay, we're back out on the Mercury Comet today, and uh, it's a nice day, so I thought I would just try to see how this seat will clean up. Uh, it's very moldy, but it's in pretty good condition from what I can tell. So I'm going to take out some uh, cleaning material and stuff, and I'm going to give this a scrub down just to see, because I would like to paint this with the vinyl and fabric paint. But first, I just want to see, uh, you know, before I buy any paint and stuff, if it's even possible to clean this up. Okay, so I've got some, uh, I'm just using some dish soap and a green scrubby. And uh, it's already taking off a pretty good layer, so. I'm just going to keep at this. Uh, some scrubbies. I've got some uh, extra strength dish soap. I've got some of this Clorox cleanup spray there. I got a little bit left. I'm going to use that because there's a few spots of mold. Uh, so I'm going to go with this. I'm going to give it a good scrub. And uh, compared to what it was, I've already got one tiny layer off. I think uh, I just think this might look okay. Okay, well, a couple minutes uh, of scrubbing later, and uh, yeah, it's looking pretty good. Now again, I do want to paint this seat, but. Uh, yeah, came out better than I could have imagined, so I'm happy with that. This is what was one good scrub with uh, dish soap, a little bit of uh, bleach cleaner. Um, I think that's as good as it's going to get, anyway, for now. Anyway, it's a little bit of cracking here, but I think I can live with that. Okay, now I wish the front seats weren't completely destroyed, but they are. See why well, I just showed you the uh, the bench sheet, and there's the back of the seat here. Obviously, that's not clean, but that will clean up. These seats are completely trashed. So I think what the next thing I'm going to do now is I'm going to try to take these two uh, bucket seats out of here. I still want to get to the floor. I got a lot of uh, scrubbing to do, and I want to do the... Uh, I want to get on with cleaning this and then putting the uh, the rust converter on the uh, on the bad spots. Okay. Okay, so I got one seat out. Went uh, remarkably easy. The pans under the seat are very good, and I found this old penny. Of course, I filmed this because I find this interesting. I'm probably the only one. An old Canadian penny. I don't know if you can see that, my big head's in the way. 1957. So, it's been in here. The cars are 62, so, I mean, I don't know. That could have been put in there last week, but I doubt it. It was underneath the, uh, it worked its way underneath the felt here. So, that's been in there a while, an old penny. So, I'm going to carry on here. I'm going to take out the other seat in this little center console. And, uh, I mean, what I'm seeing here is, is pretty nice. I mean, 58 years old. These bolts actually were pretty easy to turn, believe it or not. It's hard to believe. I mean, if you know, for people that live down south, okay, this would be normal. When you live up in the northeast, uh, you know, normally you'd see something like this on a car that's like 15 years old. But for a car that's this old, um, yeah, it's very nice condition. Very nice. Okay, I'm going to keep plugging away. Okay, got the other seat out. Uh, I'm just getting ready. I just pulled the bolts on this little center console. I'm going to try to do this one-handed while I lift this off. There she is. She's coming. Bear with me. Okay, get the screws out of the base on this thing. i lay that right here. There's my center console. Ah, that's what the carpet would have looked like. Yeah, it was nice at one time. Yeah, everything's there. Insulation, this felt stuff. Okay, so. Hump looks good. Everything looks pretty good. So I'm going to... What I want to do now is I'm going to take off this other little piece of sill. And I'm going to pull up this little piece of vinyl that's hanging down. And then I will be able to come in and start wire wheeling this metal. Um, pretty good. I found something kind of silly, kind of cool here a minute ago. I probably misplaced it. Oh, I don't 
Let's see if I can find it. Where did she go? There she is. There she is. Amongst the cigarette butts. A little bullet. Little bullet. Been in here a while. Yep. Long while. So that's the center console that was inside. That's the, uh, the liner for the center console. And, uh, some more S22 goodies. A few little Comet logos. This one is very nice. Of course, one pin is broken, but nothing a little two-way tape can't handle. I think these are easy to find anyway, replacements. This is a comb, because the tea broke off. What do we got here? Oh, we've got a mercury one in nice condition. A few nuts and bolts. That's the old, uh, the old shifter indicator. I'm going to be doing a floor shifter, so the column shifter is going to go. And a couple of switches, more keys. Yeah. So anyway, I'll put this all back together. I'm going to carry on here. And what I want to do is I want to get to the point where I can wire wheel in here. I want a wire wheel in here, and I want a wire wheel under the, uh, well, inside the engine compartment. Okay, I'm just pulling out the uh, the back seat now. Uh, there's just two bolts on the bottom, and then uh, two clips on the top. And I'm just flipping. This one's in fair shape. It's got a bit of a tear there, but I don't know. Ideally, I would find some seats, but I think I'll try to clean this one anyway. Now, this here, what is this? Oh my. Is that remnants of a critter, or is that supposed to be there? Uh, certainly, if it was supposed to be there, wouldn't it all be bunched up in one spot? I don't know. I don't know. car doesn't stink or anything. Anyway, I'm going to pull this out. I'm going to throw this out. I'm going to clean this up. I'm getting there. Yeah. The wheel tubs look good. Yeah, I'm going to pull these uh, these little door cards off the back. I'm going to pull those off. And uh, finally, I think I'll be able to start wire wheeling. Yeah, it's going well. It's going well. Okay, so I just ripped out uh, that little door card in the back. Uh, I've got the... Uh, I've got the rear dash pad removed. Of course, that's pretty brittle and cracked, but I'm going to use it to make a pattern. And then I'll be able to just uh, cut out a piece of bristle board or extremely thin aspenite or quarter inch plywood or not, not quarter inch, but maybe some of that Maranti stuff, very thin. And I'll be able to wrap it in vinyl to replicate this back here. Uh, like I said, the seat is gone. I will clean that up. The uh, piece of skirting that was hanging here, that's just in perfect shape. I took that out. So uh, yeah, again, I'm showing off my sheet metal here. I'm pretty happy. That's where the shock tower is for the back. So, I mean, I don't see any rot or anything like that. That's looking pretty good. In fact, the plastic plug is still on this one. I don't know if I'll be able to... We don't need that there. There's the other uh, top of the shock. Everything here looks really good. Uh, so, I got this door card off, and I'm looking at this card and trying to figure out what course I don't have my two dollar uh, panel removal tool this is one of those uh, there's no screws or nothing here I think it's one of those ones that you just push the clip of course I don't have that with me so I just ripped that door card off because it's all going to be redone I just need the outline for a pattern the old plastic is even still the insulation and in that is all still in here so I just want to peel this up and I'm looking at this and I've had old cars before but I'm looking at down here and all this This, there's like a thick coating over everything. So I don't know if that's supposed to be there or if somebody, if that's something that somebody did after the fact. Um, I don't know if it's like the old Z-Bart or whatever it is, but mind you, that stuff, they never used to, to inject that inside the door panels. So I don't know what this thick coating of stuff is. I, I really don't, but it's all over and it's very thick and, uh, 
Smells a bit oily, so I don't know if, you know, I had a 64 Mercury pickup. And no, same era, same, it was a Mercury, like I like Mercury's, but I don't, I don't recall any of this stuff on that truck. I don't know if this, you know, I don't know. Is that supposed to be there? Is that, did somebody shoot this in? Is this like a, is this sound deadener? Is it insulation? Is it sound deadener? Is it leftover Z-Bart for rust proofing? I, I mean, I don't think. The Z-Bart, they used to spray the undercarriages. And of course, they don't do that anymore. But they used to spray the undercarriages. They never used to inject inside all the door panels, like, like what I'm seeing here. But I don't know if this is, I should peel all this off or should I just leave it? I mean, I will, I will rust treat this car and I will paint the interior. But uh, up here in the northeast, anything that's a crevice or a hole, uh, that's going to be sprayed with oil. And I like uh, I like rust check. I like fluid film. Um, so this car will get a good dousing of all of that uh, for sure, because uh, otherwise it just would not survive. Uh, this car came from the prairies. It was in the prairies for many years, so the climate out there is much drier, and uh, they don't use uh, road salt out there whatsoever so uh yeah i don't know you know if anybody knows not that i have a lot of followers or anything but if anybody sees this and can answer this question for me i would greatly appreciate it anyway this is all done i gotta jump to this side i think if i get jump to this side get this done i'll have the car pretty much stripped to where i want to move on to the next step so, okay, I'm going to carry on a little bit more, see what, uh, see what this side is like. Okay.